leg. Sorry. I have legs. They they, they go that way. <laughs> leg. Leg. So tonight we watched the movie Harvey, uh, released in 1950, starring James Stewart. And I have to say, I didn't know that it was a black and white film. Black and white, yes. Very classic Hollywood look, I would say. I think out of out of a lot of films that were probably made at that time, this was probably more original, the idea. Compared to like Wizard of Oz or something. I mean, that's pretty original too. Oh, yeah. Oh, shut up. But yes, uh, the movie is about a man and his imaginary friend. Or is he imaginary? He's a puka. Yes, he's a bit of a spirit. Playful bunny. Likes a martini now and then. And uh, overall, I really enjoyed the movie. Uh, and it's really thanks to James Stewart. He absolutely carries it. He's very positive and uh, just, it's just enjoyable listening to him talk. And not only do we like him, but everybody in the movie likes him too. He's very suave. Yes. He's a uh, he's 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 like a young Mr. Rogers. Yes, he has a more, sort of Mr. Rogers vibe to him. But more suave. Yeah. More handsome. A bit more suave, yeah. Less puppetry. Yeah. It has some nice lessons, nice messages about just kind of being open to the world and allowing things to happen as they may and you know looking for friendships wherever they might be mm -hmm. not judging people mm -hmm. based on you know the cover of their book mm -hmm. but getting to know them and finding out who they really are michael was actually had a bit of that who's michael Max husband her ex-husband we should get him on the show sometime <laughs> guest uh, guest critic i will say obviously being set in 1950, it's got a bit of a... Uh, would you say it's sexist? Yeah, of course. Okay, it's it's of course sexist. And it, honestly, the movie portrays alcohol consumption in such a positive light that it made me want to drink. <laughs> like, if I just could go down to the bar and have a martini or two, I could make some friends and it would be great. I'm not much of a big drinker. I don't really have anything against it. I just don't do it much. I usually don't feel particularly good the next day. But, oh, they love a good martini or two and I have a fine time. Also, he has no concerns about money. He's quite wealthy. And uh, that makes it a lot easier to just go down to the bar and hang out and be nice to everybody and not worry about things. So if only we could all be wealthy enough to not have to worry about money and just have a positive outlook on life, everything would be better. It was recommended uh, to us by our friend. Yes. Thank you, Katie, for the recommendation. You know, in some ways it highlights how dated it is uh, as far as like the roles the women take on in the show or in the movie. Mm -hmm. The sister did a good job. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, James Stewart was not the only good actor, actor who did well. The, yeah. the sister did quite well. <laughs> she was very funny at times. And the Dr. Chumley character, he wasn't in it for that much, but he was pretty funny at the end too with his body language and things. Yeah, I think she did well, you know, with the limitations of what a woman is supposed to be at that point in time. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I was reading this book, which is very interesting. What are you reading about? Different types of gardens that people have built hmm. and why they built them and what's the purpose. Someone made a hot dog, Chicago dog. Chicago dog garden? Yeah. Wow. It's a garden literally shaped like a hot dog. Yeah. There it is. That's cool. There's the bun. Are you saving that page over there? Yes, that's where I am. Yeah, I'm just gonna have you show them the, the, the dog. Nah. Right. Well, you don't get to see the dog, but Sorry. that was our thoughts on the movie. You enjoyed it? Yeah. Would, would you like 
Thumbs up, thumbs down. Like thumbs up. Yeah, recommend. Yeah. Yeah, me too. So if you're looking for something light. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Yeah, it'll make you smile. Yeah. It 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 it's uh I guess it has a bit of a Wizard of Oz vibe to it. Yeah, a little bit of magical realism. We could all use a little bit more Harvey in our lives, I suppose. Good old Mr. Rogers. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Uh, we're going to be releasing all sorts of video reviews of just who knows what. So, no one wants uh, to watch this. <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> Bye.